Hey y'all, it's your girl Nita and welcome back to my channel. So due to the lockdown and quarantine, all the nail shops and stuff like that are closed, but recently starting to open. But at the time I filmed this, they were closed. So I decided to try my hand at doing my own acrylic nails. And this is the first time I'm practicing on myself. So some things you're gonna need are some nail primer, um, some clear acrylic or colored acrylic of your choice. Um, I have the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder, which is actually really good. All the reviews on Amazon said that this was one of the best. I also have this Royalty Nails um, Acrylic Powder. I think it's in the shade G3. I had picked up this shade um, because I thought this green was super pretty, as well as like a cream color because I wanted to do an ombre. <laughs> Look at me thinking I can do an ombre when I've never even done a whole nail on myself before. Okay, you'll also need some drill bits if you are going to be using a drill. I got these from Amazon as well. One of them is a cuticle cleaning bit and the other one is, I believe, a coarse safety bit. I also have a fine safety bit as well as a medium safety bit. You're gonna need a dampen dish. This is what you're gonna put your acrylic monomer in. Um, I believe you can get these on eBay and Amazon. I got mine from Amazon. So I'll drop a link to all this stuff down in the description box. Also some liquid mon monomer, cause that is how you're going to be able to do your acrylic nails. This is the Mia Secret brand, which is pretty good. And also an acrylic brush. I have an Alpha Kalinske brush, uh, number the size is eight. Um, there are different sizes. I went with a number eight brush because it was small. And since I'm a beginner, I thought this might be an easier brush for me to handle. All right, some other things you're gonna need are a uh, buffing block. I have one here that's like a nail file buffing block combo, which was uh, pretty cheap and came with my little like nail polish remover um, clip set. And also some nail files. You're gonna need a 180 slash 100 grit nail file. Uh, the 100 is the rougher side and the 180 is the finer side, which I did not know until learning that from watching a bunch of nail videos. So I'm glad I know that now. You also need some nail glue. Uh, these are the two that I like best, the IBD glue as well as the kiss uh, nail glue the IBD one I got from Amazon and the kiss one I picked up at Walmart if you're planning on adding tips you're gonna need a um, tip cutter or a nail trimmer um, this tip cutter I got from Walmart a while back it is the kiss brand and I think it was like four or five bucks um, I'll see if I can find it online and leave a link in the description box you are also going to need a cuticle pusher I got this one from Amazon well for like five six bucks this is important because before you apply your tips and rough up the nail you're going to want to push your cuticles back a little bit I also have here my uh, Melody Susie drill uh, you guys saw me use this in my my pol not my poly gel but my uh, dip powder removal video and I'll leave a link to that below as well you're gonna need some nail tips if that is what you would like to do um, I decided to use tips because I like my nails a little longer if you would like to go for a more natural look you can do a straight acrylic overlay with like a clear acrylic or like a light pink acrylic you know and you don't have to add a tip for that or use a nail form you could just lay the acrylic over your natural nail for a more natural look so I grabbed some other tips here the tips I just showed you were these um, perfect I believe it's like perfect stiletto tips where like you clip them and they give you like the perfect stiletto or um, coffin shape. And then I have a couple other tips here. Two of them I got from the beauty supply store and the bigger box of tips here, I got this from Amazon. So I'll leave a link to the Amazon one below. All right, so now we're gonna start this process. I'm gonna be taking some acetone and I'm going to just be rubbing that over my nail to take any of the shine and oils off of my nail. Normally you would do that with a dehydrator, but I didn't have a dehydrator, so I decided to use acetone. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to push my cuticles back because that is important before you do your nails, you do acrylic nails, because you want to make sure you get any of that cuticle off of the, the nail plate and then it'll help you know prevent lifting and all that and then I'm gonna go in with my cuticle bit and I'm gonna go in at a very really low speed and just get up any excess cuticle that's still left over all of that up 
off the nail. So as you saw, I cut the tip to my desired length and now I'm just taking my nail file. I believe I was taking the 1A, no, I'm taking the 100 side and going in uh, lightly and just buffing off the um, shine off the nail and roughing it up so that way that the acrylic adheres properly. And I'm also doing that over the tip. I've heard people say you don't need to do that over the tip, but I was like, mm, I'll try it out and see if that helps. And I don't think I saw much of a huge difference, but you know, I want to try it. Now I'm going in with the acrylic primer, which is important. You need an acrylic primer and I'm just going to be putting that on my natural nail, not over the tip. So now I'm just opening up my acrylic powder. It is super pretty. I love this green so, so much. And I'm going to be pouring my monomer into my dampen dish. So I will tell you guys right now, the Mia Secret monomer definitely has an odor. It smells like acrylic monomer. If y'all ever been in a nail shop and it just, that, it's that smell, that acrylic pure acrylic smell it's that that's the monomer um i had to definitely open up a window i was down in my family room and i opened a couple windows because woof that smell is very strong i definitely suggest wearing a mask when you are filing and when you're doing your nails if you're gonna do acrylic nails because that's gonna help a lot especially with the filing because i irritated the hell out of my sinuses by not wearing a mask and i just breathed in some of that dust that nail does and i I woke up the next day and my allergies were acting a fool. So uh, yeah, just a tip, just wear the mask. Um, so now I'm just going in and I'm going to be just patting that acrylic on. I picked up a pretty small bead because like I said, I am a beginner and this is just practice. So um, some people do like a one ball method, a one bead method, a two bead method. Uh, I did a few beads because I didn't know what the hell I was really, really doing. I've only done this on another person i.e being my boyfriend who was so gracious enough to allow me to use him as a practice hand sometimes so yeah um i just did a bead a small bead up at the tip spread that out and then another bead up down by the cuticle and making sure not to get any of this on the cuticle prior to laying the acrylic i did shape the tip a little bit and i definitely have to work on my shaping um i like square shape I usually do when I get my nails done I usually get the square shape because it just flatters my fingers um so I just went with something simple like that I only did this one finger because I was just practicing just to kind of like see if maybe this is something I can keep practicing and get good at and then start doing on my own and then that'll limit me having to uh go to the nail shop So after I have laid down my um, green acrylic, I'm going to be going over this and encapsulating it with a clear acrylic. Uh, I believe this helps when you're filing and you are um, basically smoothing out the nail. Uh, so this helps so that way you don't file off the majority of your colored acrylic by putting a clear on top. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I added a few beads of clear. The nail was pretty thick, but I knew I could thin that out by using a combination of my nail file, which you can use. You can do a whole set or whatever with just a nail file, or you could use a drill. Um, the drill is definitely easier and saves time, but if you are a beginner, it also is very helpful to uh, use the nail file. So I did do the most of my filing with the nail file, and then I went in with my drill afterwards. Um, I didn't really get any good footage of me filing my nails on camera because it was such an awkward angle, but you will see me go in and just kind of finish up with the drill. Boy. 
So once I was done uh, applying my acrylic, I just rinsed off my brush with my monomer and also wiped it off. And also the way you know your nail is dry and ready to file is by this sound. That's how you know the nail has hardened and dried and you can go in and do your filing. After you lay the acrylic, you do have to refile the nail because especially if you are a beginner like me, it kind of gets a little wonky after you add the acrylic. So I went in and refiled the nails. Didn't say this before, but I should say this now. I am not a licensed nail tech. This is just for fun and this is just for practice. Please do not come for me. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys can't really see me filing right now because... I'm a derp and I was over here like oh let me hold my hand this way and it was not the most comfortable in terms of like for you guys to watch me do it on camera but it was a little more comfortable for me sitting there so now you're gonna see me go in and I'm going in with my drill I believe I'm using my um, coarse drill bit and then I'm gonna change it out and use my fine drill bit the coarse drill bit was to debulk the product on the nail and then the fine drill bit was to smoothen it out After I've gone in with my drill, I'm going to go in with my buffing block here and I'm just going to buff out the nail. All right, and this is it guys. Um, I didn't put a top coat on or anything like that because I was gonna be taking it off right afterwards. The shaping is okay. Um, the nail itself looked pretty good. It was very smooth. Um, I did notice that I didn't add enough acrylic on one side or I possibly over filed on that side with my um, nail file. I'm not sure, but other than that, it was okay. It felt very sturdy and very secure. So I'll definitely keep practicing and see where it takes me. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below so that way you can always be notified whenever I upload. And let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. Because it was really fun for me to make. So yeah, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.